So I've been racing maybe eight, nine years. I uh, started racing on the road bike in chiropractic school in Minneapolis. Started racing there for a couple years. And then I moved out to Arizona. I uh, didn't really race in 2008 much at all as I started practicing chiropractic. And then um, in 2009, I got back on the bike and started to race quite a bit out in the Southwest here. And over the years, I've been able to open up my own clinic, my own practice and then you know delegate a little bit more time to racing since I can set my own schedule and as that came about I ended up turning professional and now uh, this year I won the national championship on the road bike so it's been quite a journey. Awesome. And how did you get involved with Alturity Tucson? Uh, actually so when I first moved here in 2008, 2009 I had done it just because everybody had it as a big event on their calendar in Arizona and the southwest so just gave it a uh, run a couple times, actually ended up winning it a few times, and since then I haven't raced it for a while, so this time we're doing it for charity. And uh, tell me a little bit about why you're riding this year for the charity. So Brendan with Look Save a Life, uh, Arizona, they asked us, my teammate Travis and I, to ride in honor of uh, the charity to raise awareness for cycling. And so what Travis and I are going to do are going to start at the back of all the riders, three, 4,000 people behind, and for everybody that we pass by the end of the finish, we're asking for people to donate 10 cents a rider, one cent a rider, so if we, or more, if, uh, if they wanted to. And um, that money's going to go to Look Save a Life, which is raising awareness for cycling. Maybe try to get the cell phone free law in Arizona, help billboards, educating uh, new drivers, those types of things so that it's a little safer when we're out there training and, and enjoying the bike. So what about Look Save a Life drew you to it? Well, certainly Brendan being a local uh, down here in Tucson, um, I've ridden with him before. I knew, met him when he did his first Tucson, El Tour to Tucson. So we've been on many rides together before. And so when I saw his struggles and see even the struggles that I see in the clinic with people who have crashed and been in accidents, um, I know how big of a deal it is to come through those injuries and so for sure get behind something like this. So uh, I'm going to ask you a couple quick questions about the route. What's your favorite part of the route besides the finish line? <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's tough because I've never done it from behind. I've always been racing near the front and so it's always much faster and a little more furious at the front. Uh, but I was always like those washes because it really started to because you have to sometimes dismount in these washes and uh, it always shook out some of the riders that maybe weren't quite as fit by the time he got through them. And, and then as the ride kept going on, it just kept whittling down who was, who was left in the, in the ride. What do you think of the, um, what do you think of the, uh, the uh, atmosphere of El Tour? Uh, it's a big deal. I mean, a lot of times this is some of the, this is maybe one person's A race or event. And so you have varying, reasons for doing it and varying skill levels, fitness levels and that type of stuff. But all in all, it's always because everybody's very motivated and excited about the sport and enjoying their health being out on the bike. So when you get that many people and like-minded individuals together, it's a good buzz out here. That we're riding as together out there, like if somebody's blowing the stoplight as a cyclist, that represents me as somebody who stops and waits for it. So we need to be a unified front as a, a law-abiding riders and cyclists out there to not you know put ourselves in a bad position to be seen publicly like that um, so it's safer and people don't have uh, a negative connotation when they come up on a cyclist or they have to overtake us out there on the road